Okay, well, I just bought an Antminer S2 from Bitmain. Uh, the one tera hash per second Bitcoin miner. Um, and it's very common for these things to have some damage uh, from shipping along the way from China. And so I want to go over what I found when I opened up my thing, uh, opened up my miner. The very first thing you want to do is before you plug this thing in, you want to take the covers off and you want to examine all the uh, blades. So I have two blades here. This is what a, a good blade looks like. Um, and I, I found that a very common problem is that these capacitors here will often break off during shipping. And I have one here that has broken off of this card right here. See, it goes right there. So we're going to go and just kind of go over how to uh, reattach, solder this back on. And basically, as you can see, let me get that on there, is it's just a break in the solder joint, nothing serious. Um, and probably something that can be fixed uh, very easily without having to return the miner back to the factory, which can be uh, a bit of a, it's not, it's not a problem. It's just a, a tedious task. So we're going to go ahead and I got my soldering iron heating up. We're going to go ahead and solder this sucker right back on. Okay. As you can see, these are electrolytic capacitors. So they do have a polarity. The, uh, anode and cathode of this capacitor are marked with the red side and the silver side. So it's important that you get the polarity correct. Um, we can just look over at the good card to decide to decipher which way the cap should be installed. And as you can see, the red pin should be to the right. So we're gonna go ahead and solder that on right here. There's actually enough solder there um, on the pads to where we probably don't need to add anymore, but I'm gonna go ahead and add a little more just to be safe. Okay, I have added some more solder to those pads. So now, basically what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to stick this down here. There is a plastic uh, spacer for the leads there. Presents, makes it a little more difficult to uh, solder on there. But basically, I'm just going to add it on there and then get the iron underneath that spacer to heat up those leads and heat up the solder that's on those pads. Just enough to uh, stick it down. All right, I actually turned this around since I took the last picture. It's, I don't have a cameraman, so it's me trying to solder. It usually requires three hands anyway. Uh, it's me trying to solder and take the video at the same time. However, you see it's not the most beautiful solder job, but it's not a uh, semiconductor. It's just an electrolytic capacitor. Um, doesn't require a whole lot of precision. So even a um, person who's not very skilled at soldering can go ahead and make this repair very simply. Uh, basically, all you want to do is reattach it. That's all you have to do. Not a problem.